They might be less enthused by some of the hard and fairly low rent plastics scattered about the cabin, lifted partially by leather pads on the dash and armrests in a nod to civility, the lack of steering wheel reach adjustment and the hard wearing but utilitarian cloth seats. It all feels knockabout, but cheap and basic. Dimensionally, the Everest is a shade bigger than an Isuzu MUX. 70 mm longer though the same width, and a few centimeters smaller than the Prado, in most areas. It's 60 mm longer in the wheelbase though, and thereby gives excellent interior space. Middle row occupants will enjoy the ample room available in the outboard seats and the outstanding visibility out. They'll also enjoy their own air conditioning controls and roof mounted vents, and the presence of a 12 volt socket and a 230 volts slash 150 watts to charge their laptop. Ford has now added those Isofix anchors to the middle row of seats too. Clambering into the third row is aided by the tilting and sliding middle seat broken up into two 6040 pieces, though it still requires a little gymnastics. Still, they're good for the kids, and you get separate vents. It's a good thing they fold so flush into the floor, as this helps expand cargo space from a good 450 liters, with all three rows in use, to an even better 1050 liters. Fold the middle row.